as a, as a lot of reasons to be afraid today. It is hard. We live in hard times and in Europe especially, it's hard ground and people do react in so many different ways to our faith or to us sharing our faith. And often people will say like, at the minimum, they'll say, oh, that's great for you. It's not for me. I don't need this. I'm okay. Um, or sometimes they'll react with apathy or, or, or even um, to be against it, to, to be aggressive, to say, you know, religion causes war and, 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 and there's bigotry and hatred and arrogance in, in Christianity and I don't, don't want to hear it from you. This is the reality that's around us. And so I understand why we as a church in Europe have been struggling the way I see it with a lack of boldness and courage to respond to the culture. There's reason for it, human reason for it. But we know a God who is so powerful and that the one who lives in us is so much greater than the one who is in the world. And, and so um, I believe God calls the church in Europe to have a new boldness, a new courage. And when I read Acts and I see the powerful move of the Holy Spirit through the apostles and through the church, through so many signs and wonders and gifts that he, he did through um, the apostles, there's one clear sign that seems to come up over and over again, and that was courage to preach the truth. We read in Acts 4 when they're gathering and praying just after Peter gets out of prison and they're, they're praying together and they're saying, God, you see the threats around us, but give us boldness, be with us, use us. And, and then we read how the ground shakes, the Holy Spirit is moving in a miraculous way. And what was the result? They preached the word of God with boldness, with courage. And I believe that that is still available to us today, that we can ask God to fill us with his Holy Spirit and to use us to go out and be bold, to speak truth to this culture. I also believe that courage is not lack of fear. Sometimes we want to wait till we feel great and we're ready and we, we're not afraid and we can go. Um, but I don't see that in the apostles or in scripture. And I don't think the natural way we work as humans is we're, we're always going to be afraid. That's normal to feel afraid. Courage is to step through fear in obedience. <clears throat> it's to say, God, I am so afraid. I don't know how to do this. I'm inadequate. I don't know what to do. But I want to be obedient to your call. I want to be used by you. I want to reach this world. So use me. Here I am. Send me. And when we step through that, God gives us what we need. He gives us it. And that, that's right down to the smallest thing. Like you're on a train and, and the Holy Spirit speaks to you. Go talk to that person. Go pray for them. Go give them a word. And, and, and you, you're, you're afraid. You don't know how that person's going to respond. But you step through that fear and you go, okay, I'm going to do this, God. And, and you go. And then we learn. That becomes a practice. You can learn. You can grow in that. You can be like, okay, last time I did that. It was a hard conversation, but God was with me. I can do it again. And, 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 and God uses us. And, and that then goes to so many other things. Is God calling me to do something new in my church, to bring uh, the gospel outside the walls of the church? Is God calling me to join a mission or to go somewhere? And I need to step through that fear. The fear will be there, but I, I can trust in God. And I step through the fear in a step of obedience. And I, I believe that is courage. 